Think of your favorite burrito spot. <laughs> think of all the toppings you'd normally get. Think of what you don't get. Think of why you don't get those things. Think of what those things have done to you. <laughs> to your stomach. How it bubbles the acid churning through your butt pipes. Think of how burritos, how this particular burrito hurt you. Like for real hurt you. Like they mixed all the salsas together. Like there's glass inside of your chorizo. Like they did this to you on purpose. Remember how all the toilets were broken? How the Chinese restaurant next door refused you? How you shuffled your way to a park? It was just one person, I just... <laughs> Don't do it! How you were prepared to do the unthinkable shit in a park. Until you saw that faithful porta potty. A porta potty in the middle of a middle class neighborhood. The park is next to five schools, two hospitals, and a rising real estate market that brings in construction workers from all over the world. I count four Mexican restaurants in the area. I'm no expert, but I assume that comes out to like two desperate poops an hour. That's 11 hours of desperate burrito shits from every walk of human life daily waiting for whoever cleans it, whenever they decide to clean it, if they clean it every day. Imagine this porta potty worth using. This gurgling vat of human body stew so necessary to you that its warmth doesn't bother you. How the frayed fungal plastic feels almost good against your bare, weak, desperate ass. Okay. Now imagine that you're poor. That you're poor and black in San Francisco with kids and a job and enough trauma to drown a family. Imagine living in between a power plant and the city's biggest human waste facility in San Francisco. Imagine your kids developing asthma and wheezing nothing but this city's shit clouding the air and calling it home. Imagine home smelling like shit, like a porta potty. Imagine appreciating a porta potty. Imagine raising kids there and hoping that these plastic walls are strong enough to build a foundation on. Imagine claiming it all yourself how the smell of it follows you to work, how it bothers your coworkers, how construction workers walk in and out of your house with sledgehammers every day, how they'll fix it, how they'll fix everything. They said they'd clean it, how they'll clean you out of your whole neighborhood for free, how they're going to free you from all this shit and you come home tired, defeated, ready to sit down grateful for what toilet paper you have. And then the blue liquid starts crawling from beneath your lap and into your open mouth, how the ceiling has caved in and the doors won't open. And when they do, the neighborhood's clean. Everything but you, half naked in a park, covered in shit. 